okay so in this lecture we are going to discuss about uh, subgroups so let us first uh, define what is uh, meant by a subgroup so i will take a group g so let g star be a group and i will take a subset of uh, that group g so let s be a non empty subset of g then this s is a subgroup of g if s is a group in itself is a group in itself the operation with respect to which operation with respect to the same operation star so it is actually nothing but a smaller group inside a group so suppose this is your group g you know identity is there so i will take a subset s which is non empty and that s that s should also become a group so that so closure must hold associativity must hold identity is there inverse is also inside it so means if i take two elements a and b in s if i take two elements a and b in s then a star b should also be in s identity should be in s associativity should hold for all three elements any three elements i take in that set s so a b c r in s then a star b star c should be equal to a star b star c identity should be in the set s if i take an element a in the set s then it's inverse a dash that should also be in s it should not go outside the set s otherwise there is no uh, use so the inverse of elements in s should also be inside the same set s so this means that s is actually a small group sitting inside a large group then in that case we say that s star forms a subgroup of g star okay and in notation if i want to say that s is a subgroup of g so the notation that we will follow will be very simple i will write s less than or equal to g this is just like your vector spaces and inside vector spaces when you start finding smaller vector spaces you call them to be the subspaces so this is same like that so subgroup is a smaller group inside the larger group g okay now let me take some simple examples okay what is the simplest subgroup that i can think about a group g so let me take a let g star be any group and we will take a smaller set so i will take suppose i am calling that smaller set h so let h be a subset of g where h is just what where h is just singleton identity element so i'm just taking single element in that g so this is identity which is in g and i'm just taking this to be h okay now this h which is singleton e is a subset of the group g with respect to star and does the closure hold it is clear that identity is in h and identity is also in h so identity star identity that is also in h so clearly closure holds associativity also holds now when i talk about associativity what will i say associativity if it holds in the larger set if the associativity property holds in the larger set that property will also hold in the smaller set and we know that g is a group right so if g is a group then associativity holds in g so let me write associativity holds in larger group or in g therefore it holds in h also if this equation a star b star c if this is true 
is equal to a star b star. If this equation is true for all a, b, c in G, okay, then this uh, then uh, this is true for all a, b, c in G. Therefore, this is also true for what? Therefore, this is also true for all a, b, c in H. Why this is also true for all a, b, c in H? Because this particular person is also in H because of closure, and this particular person is also. It belongs to H because B star C belongs to H because closure holds. Therefore, A star B star C also belongs to H. Similarly, on the right hand side, A star B belongs to H, C belongs to H. Therefore, A star B star C also belongs to H. So, this is also in H and right hand side is also in H. Therefore, if this property associativity holds in the larger group, it will also hold in the smaller group. Henceforward, we will not check the associativity property if we are checking the subset to be a subgroup. Okay, because the larger group has the associativity property, so the smaller group will also have the associativity. What is the identity inside H? Identity is there inside H because H contains e clearly so e is the identity okay and what about the inverse property in the inverse property what is the inverse of e the inverse of e is e itself so and that inverse e belongs to h so the element also belongs to h and inverse is e which also belongs to h and therefore inverse exists and therefore this is the one of the most simplest example of a subgroup and therefore h which is singleton e is a subgroup of the group of the group g star okay this is called actually one of the trivial subgroups trivial means one of the most obvious subgroups of g which is what which is the singleton identity alone another example of a trivial subgroup we will say that we all know that G is a subset of G itself. Okay, so this is again a subgroup of the group G. So I mean to say that we have two trivial subgroups of a group, which are always subgroups. So, so what are the two trivial subgroups of a group? They are first subgroup is identity h equal to identity and the second subgroup is the subgroup h equal to g itself take the full group so like a vector space singleton zero that is a subspace which is called as a trivial subspace and a vector space v full vector space v that is also a subspace of the original vector space so two subgroups will a group will always have two subgroups and these two subgroups are called as trivial subgroups now we will find a subgroup which is which so this is singleton e and this is the original g now we will find a subgroup which is in between them we will find the subgroup h which is neither equal to identity okay which is neither equal to identity and which is neither equal to full g such subspaces will be called as non trivial subspaces okay what is a non trivial subspace h is a subspace is non trivial if what h is neither singleton identity and h is neither the complete group such such subspaces are non trivial subspaces now let us see one actual example let me take a pick up one group which i know we all know that the set of real numbers with respect to star and usual multiplication okay is a, is a group okay now we will choose a subset of this particular uh, set r star i'm going to choose a subset of r star and that should also be a group so what is this obvious subset of real numbers which is a group with respect to multiplication and that set we all of us know that set is q star okay because we know that non zero rationals are are contained in the set of non zero real numbers right so this means that q star which is a group with respect to multiplication 
is actually a subgroup of what which is actually a subgroup of real numbers non zero with respect to multiplication so this so this is the first subgroup of r star with respect to multiplication okay let's take one more example if i if i take a, if if i consider the group z4 what is the group z4 z4 consists of 0 bar 1 bar 2 bar and 3 bar so i will consider this to be my group this is a group g z4 with respect to which operation it is a, it is a group with respect to addition modulo 4 so this group z4 contains four elements 0 bar i am writing 0 bar 1 bar 2 bar and 3 bar it contains only four elements now we will take a subset of this particular z4 what what subset should I choose so that it will become a subgroup? Obviously, if I want to choose a sub H to be a subgroup, first of all, identity must always belong to the subgroup, which is what is the identity in this group? The identity is zero bar. And I will choose the second element I will choose is I will choose to be two bar. So clearly H is a subset of what? Z4. Is H a subgroup? Is this H a subgroup of Z4? It is a subset of Z4, okay? Right now, we just know that it is only what? It is only a subset of Z4. Is it a subgroup of Z4? So fine, we will check the closure. Let us check the closure. And for closure, you know, you have to just check the table, 0 bar, 2 bar, 0 bar, and 2 bar. So 0 bar plus 0 bar, 0 bar plus 2 bar, 2 bar plus 0 bar, and 2 bar plus 2 bar is 0 bar. So all the entries in this table are inside the set H. If all the entries of that table are inside H, this means closure holds in H. This means closure holds in H. Associativity, as I told you, I will not check because associativity, what is the reason? Associativity holds in the larger group Z4. Therefore, it holds in, it holds in the smaller set also. Therefore, it will hold in the smaller set H also. What is the identity element of this small subgroup? The identity element is obviously equal to zero bar. What are the inverses of all the elements? Are the inverses inside the same set? So what are the elements? First of all, elements are 0 bar and 2 bar. And what are the inverses? Are they inside or are they going outside the set H? We know that from the table, 0 bar has inverse 0 bar and 2 bar has inverse 2 bar. So this means inverse does not go outside the set zero bar inverse is zero bar, zero bar and two bar is its own inverse so this also belongs to h this also belongs to h zero and a two bar were also in h inverses are also belonging to what inverses are also elements of h and therefore we now conclude that all the four properties are satisfied and therefore h is a group in itself but it is smaller than the group Therefore, H will become what? Which will become a subgroup of the G's head, which is G equal to Z4 with respect to addition.